bath salts are in the national headlines because of a horrific crime in Miami. You may have heard about a naked man, possibly under the influence of the drug, reportedly chewing the face off a homeless man. Well, Seven News has been investigating so-called bath salts since January of 2011, when we discovered gas stations and convenience stores selling them. So within days, the governor is expected to sign a bill here in Colorado making them illegal in our state. Dr. Diane McAllister, the chief medical officer at Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital, joins us every Wednesday. And so we've chosen this topic, this go-around, because there's so much talk about this. You've seen an increase in patients high on bath salts. It sounds strange, but you've seen it. We, we have seen it, and we've seen increasing violence um, that our ER, ER staff is having to deal with. So it's a big concern. So let's break it down a little bit. What are the ingredients? In the, I mean, that's a very benign term, bath salts. It sounds so innocent, but what's in there? You know, these are not intended to be used for bathing at all. These are methamphetamines that are synthetic and um, had not been... Um, made illegal by the FDA and they're sold in this crystallized fashion in little packets um, that say do not ingest but people are smoking them eating them injecting them all kinds of things so it's not as though if you went to buy real bath salts it happens to be the drug it just it falls under that categorization right this is just the way they marketed it to bring it in under the radar yeah. and it has nothing to do with the bath the things you use for bathing a that you get at the salt, grocery yeah. store yeah. Okay. We showed a little bit of the video a moment ago. Let's show that video again of a young man in the back of a squad car, high apparently on bath salts. He's screaming one moment and laughing uncontrollably the next. And then another man talks about what happened to him when he used those drugs. It felt like impending doom was coming down on me and like that I was possessed and I couldn't try to stop whatever was in me from continuing further and it felt like I was about to bust loose and actually hurt somebody. Wow, so it's a big influence. What's the difference then between these bath salts and say cocaine? So these are synthetic amphetamines and in our brain are two chemicals, norepinephrine and dopamine, that tend to excite our brain. The, these drugs act in two ways. Like methamphetamine, they make our brain pour out dopamine chemical. And then like cocaine, they, keep, they trap both norepinephrine and dopamine in the brain. So they're both increasing the excitability by more drugs and they're trapping it there. So it's a, a high that's described as being 13 times more potent and dangerous wow. than either methamphetamine or cocaine. As frightening and ominous as this all is, we're seeing a, a more common use of it in our area. Uh, yes, we are seeing more common use here and nationally. To be specific, in 2010, there were 304 calls to the National Poison Control Centers about these substances. Last year, there was a 200% increase. There were 6,138 calls about these substances nationally. Wow, so it is increasing. And we've, we understand that they're, that they're not detectable, is that right? Well, you know, that they are not detectable on the drug tox screen that we commonly use at the right. hospital, but there are national laboratories that we take the samples and send them to, and those laboratories are able to detect these amphetamines. So how can we know whether somebody is using these dangerous drugs? How, how can we deal with it? You know, as parents and friends, this is an important topic, and... Like any drug addiction, the first thing you see is a change in the person's behavior. And with these drugs, they're stimulants, so you see fast heart rate, people can get chest pain, high blood pressure, and then when it's more severe, we see paranoia, delusions, it's called an excited delirium, and delirium means you don't know what's going on, and then um, violent, violent behavior with these drugs. And we hear that from police officers. They get violent. We've seen some of the video. So should we come upon somebody who's high on this? Anything we particularly we should do? Well, you know, the first thing to do is to get away from them okay. and then call 911. And once they come, if you see any packaging, it's very helpful to send that in with the EMS crews because, because we can't detect it on those first tests we do. If we have the packages or have some sense that they may have used the bath salts, it helps our ER docs direct the treatment. Good okay. point. Thank you so much, Dr. Diane, for Thanks. talking about this subject that really has uh, gotten our attention as well as getting attention nationally. Now, if you have a topic that you want to see discussed here, email 11 a.m. at the denverchannel.com, and you also can read Dr. Diane's advice by clicking on Staying Healthy. Just scroll down to her specific special section.